In April 1995, NASA released a tech briefing titled Using Spiderweb Patterns to Determine Toxicity, detailing research conducted at the Marshall Space Flight Center. The study aimed to explore how different substances, such as caffeine, affect the patterns that spiders create in their webs. The goal of the research was to assess the toxicity of various chemicals by exposing spiders to them and analysing how their webs differed from the normal, unaltered designs. Researchers exposed European garden spiders to a variety of chemicals, including caffeine, marijuana and benzedrine, an amphetamine, and observed how the spiders spun their webs under the influence of these substances. According to the briefing, one of the most significant indicators of toxicity was a decrease in the number of completed sides in the cells of the web. In simpler terms, the more toxic the substance, the fewer sides the spider would complete in the web structure. This study wasn't the first of its kind. In 1948, Swiss pharmacologist Peter N. Witt conducted similar research on the effects of various drugs on spider webs. Witt's original research was sparked by a request from his colleague, zoologist H. M. Pichens Peters, who was annoyed by the timing of when garden spiders built their webs between 2 a.m. early and 5 a.m., and asked Witt to investigate whether it was possible to change the timing. Witt exposed spiders to a variety of psychoactive drugs, including amphetamine, mescaline, strychnine, LSD, and caffeine, he found that the drugs didn't alter the timing of web construction, but did affect the size and shape of the webs. At small doses of caffeine, 10 UGC spider, the webs became smaller, with uneven radii, though the regularity of the circles remained intact. At higher doses, 100 UGC spider, the shape of the web became even more irregular. In contrast, small doses of LSD 0.10.3 UG increased the regularity of the web. To administer the drugs, Witt dissolved them in sugar water and placed a drop of the solution on the spider's mouth. Later studies also involved feeding spiders drugged flies. For more controlled experiments, a fine syringe was used to administer a defined volume of solution. Photos of the webs were taken before and after the spiders were exposed to the substances. NASA's research mirrored Witt's findings, though with a new twist. Instead of simply observing the web's design qualitatively, NASA's team used modern statistical tools to quantitatively analyze the spider webs, providing a more precise method for assessing toxicity. The researchers proposed this technique as a possible alternative to testing harmful chemicals on higher animals, which, as they noted, is becoming increasingly restricted by law.